the most shocking event to happen to New York. The Twin Towers, destroyed, burnt to ashes, wiped off the map. So many people, dead. This was a time that scarred many of people right to this day. So many families lost loved ones. This was 9-11, 2,996. This is not just a figure. This is the figure of how many lives were lost. Ripping my heart was so easy, so easy. Launch your assault now, take it easy. Raise your weapon, raise your Following the destruction of the original World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001, there was much debate regarding the future of the World Trade Center site. By 2003, the Lower Manhattan Development Corporation organized a competition to determine how to use the site. The public rejected the first round of designs. Due to this, a second round of designs came through, in which a design by Daniel Libskind was selected in December 2002. Criticism was levelled at the limited number of floors that were designated for office space and other amenities in an early plan. Only 82 floors would have been habitable and the overall office space of the entire rebuilt World Trade Centre would have been reduced by more than 3 million square feet in comparison with the original complex. Much of the building's height would have been consisted of a large open-air steel lattice structure above the roof of the tower, containing wind turbines and sky gardens. The beginning of creating the new World Trade Centre started on April 27, 2006. On March 30, 2009, the Port Authority confirmed that the building would be known by its legal name of One World Trade Centre, rather than the colloquial name, Freedom Tower. At the time of its completion in 2013, One World Trade Centre will be the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere and the third tallest building in the world by pinnacle height, with its spear reaching a symbolic 1,776 feet in reference to the year of American independence.